Hey guys, it's Rob just doing a quick video on how to flash the BL Heli firmware to the Armitan ESCs. This is my CF226 which was built by Chris and what I also have is one of these uh, Afro USB linkers which I bought from Hobby King just connected to the ESC with a servo extension cable just makes it a bit easier just for um, updating the ESCs while they're still attached to the quadcopter. So basically that's all you need for the physical setup. For the software you need to download the BL Heli suite which comes as a zip file and we'll have a look at that in a minute but one of the other files which is useful is this uh, supported ESCs document. It's a PDF document. When you open it you'll see it contains a list of many different types of ESCs and uh, some of their features. We need to come right down to the bottom and you'll find the Armitan series. Okay, so the one we're interested in here is the Armitan 30 amp ESC. And what we're looking for is which code it uses. It uses the blue series 30 amp code, which you can see there. Okay, so that's going to get us started. What we need to do now is open up the BL Heli suite. We'll do that. I've unzipped the file here, that's the folder. When you open that, you'll see there's a series of files, and the one we're after is this exe file. Double click that. We'll run it and I'll just close the background and we can zoom in a little bit now because this is the, uh, the interface that we're interested in. First thing we need to do is make sure that your interface is correct. So I've already selected the Afro USB linker there so that's fine. And what we need to do now is just connect the um, ESC. Now it won't connect while you don't have any power to the quad. Watch what happens if you try it actually tells you to connect power. If you don't do it fast enough, it will time out. But what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and connect power now. Okay, it actually it actually timed out, so we'll try that again. Let's just try it connecting. Okay, that time it connected. And what we can do is we can read the setup in the ESC. Now this one hasn't been flashed yet, so it's going to actually detect that. And you can see it says it seems to be flashed with Simon K or other firmware or was erased before. Do you want to flash it with BL Heli firmware? You can click yes here and it will go into the process. If we cancel that, the other option is you could just click uh, flash BL Heli down here and it's going to uh, give you the same window. Now we need to select the correct code firmware. So if you remember it was the Blue Series 30 amp. We'll just use the pull down window and find that. And the one we want is the multi for multi-copter. So that's the firmware we want to flash. I highlight that and click OK. It will then just ask you to confirm. Do you want to flash this? Yes, we do. So it's going through the process now of flashing and verifying. You'll see there's a number of options here behind the window. When the, um, when the firmware is flashed, they will just uh, some of those will disappear and you'll only be left with what the... Uh, the ESC is actually capable of. Okay, so the firmware was flashed successfully. We'll click OK. You notice some of those menus change slightly. Okay, I'm just going to run quickly through these. Uh, basically leave everything there where it is. Um, don't need to touch any of that. For the motor direction, normal, DMAG compensation low. The only thing I'm going to change here is the frequency damped. We're going to select damped light. What that means is the ESC will actually have active braking. So normally when you accelerate, the propeller RPM increases. When you reduce power, the propeller RPM will reduce. That's usually only just from air resistance on the propeller. But when you have this setting, you actually have like an electronic brake on the motor which is slowing it down much faster so uh, what it basically means is that the motors will reach the desired RPM faster than if they were just freewheeling and that's going to give you more precise control so we want to select damped light motor timing medium we'll just leave that as it is the next things we need to adjust here are the PPM min throttle and the max throttle now the calibration of the ESCs is done in this software you don't need to do it um, with your NASE set up or with your transmitter. So what we want is I'll set uh, 1052 for the minimum 
and we'll set 1852 for the maximum. Now we need to write that setup. So we'll write that. And the write is OK. So that one is complete. So you just basically now need to um, repeat the process for all the other four ESCs, and uh, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.